So let's look at an um, example of a differential equation on a free response because they're on every year. So on this one it says consider differential equation dy dx equal ey 3x squared minus 6x. Let y equal f of x be the particular solution to the differential equation that passes through 1, 0. Now, Part A says write an equation for the line tangent to the graph at f at the point 1, 0. Use the tangent line to approximate f of 1.2. So, let's think about what we would do. Um, to write an equation of a tangent line, remember we need y equal mx plus b. So we need a slope and a point. Well, we've got the general slope formula because slope is your derivative. So we've got this here, and we've got the point. 1, 0. So we're going to come over here and plug in to get our numeric slope. And so we're going to say e to the 0, because that's what our y value is, 3, 1 squared minus 6 times 1. And so e to the 0 is going to be 1. And this is going to be 3 minus 6. So our slope is going to be negative 3. All right, we've got our ordered pair, 1, 0. So we're just going to come over here and go 0 equal negative 3 times 1 plus b. So 0 equal negative 3 plus b. 3 is b. And so our equation is y equal negative 3x plus 3. And then we want to approximate 1.2. So we're going to go 1.2 plus 3. And we are going to get plus 3. And we are going to get for an answer negative point six. Now, let's do part B. It says find y equal f of x, the particular solution to the differential equation that passes through one zero. So the first thing we want to do is to separate our variables. So let me write the problem. Okay, so first thing I want to do is multiply both sides by dx. So if I do that, then I'm going to divide the ey to the other side. So I get And I'm going to write this as e to the negative y, because it'll be easier to integrate. And now we're going to integrate both sides. I'm going to do u substitution. So this is going to be negative e to the negative y equal. I'm going to use my power rule here, so this will be x cubed minus 3x squared plus my c. I'm going to divide everything by the negative to get rid of that on this side. Now, I'm going to take the ln of both sides. And if we divide and that's our general solution. Now we were asked to find the particular solution at one zero. So we're gonna say zero
Now, look what happens here. Am I easily able to find C because of, I've got L and a C? So that doesn't really work very well. So let's go back and try substituting to solve for our C up here where we first integrated. So we tried it here. We weren't able to find C. So let's cross that out. And let's go back up here and try here. So if I go negative e to the negative 0 equal 1 cubed minus 3 1 squared plus c. And e to the 0 is going to be negative 1 equal 1 minus 3 plus c. And I'm going to get... And when I add the 2 over, I get 1 equal my C. So, sometimes you have to come back up. And you can, when you try to find your C, you can do it anywhere as after you've integrated. Um, so, you can try after you've gotten to the bottom and got your Y isolated. Or if it doesn't work, you can go back into the original. So, I'm still going to come up here and do my LN now. But I'm going to do it with LN e to the negative y equal ln of and I'm going to put my c in and of course this is going to cancel out And our final answer would be this. Now think about that's nine points on a free response on two questions that were relatively easy. So let's look at another example. We've got the rate at which a baby bird gains weight is proportional to the difference between its adult weight and its current weight. At time t equals zero, when the bird is first weighed, its weight is 20 grams. If B of T is the weight of the bird in grams at time T days after it is first weighed, then here's the rate that the baby gains weight. Let Y equal B of T be the solution to the differential equation above with initial condition B of uh, 0 equal 20. Now part A says, is the bird gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 grams or when it weighs 70 grams? Explain your reasoning. Well, this is the rate of how much it gains weight. So you're just going to substitute 40 in and 70 in. And you're going to get 12 grams versus 6 grams. So obviously 12 grams is greater than 6 grams. Now let's look at B. Find the second derivative and explain why this graph cannot resemble, why your correct graph could not resemble this graph. So let's look at what we're going to do. So we've got the derivative. We're going to take the second derivative. So if you take the derivative of a constant, it's going to go away. If you take the derivative of negative one-fifth b, it's going to be negative one-fifth db dt. Because remember, this is like related rates. If it's not at x, we're taking the derivative. So then I'm going to substitute the original m for db dt, and I get this. Now think about it. 20 was your initial. 100 would be the highest you could go because 100 minus 100 would be 0. So you're looking from 20 to 100. Well, if you put any of those values in, this derivative is going to be negative. So that means your original f of x was concave down. Now look at your graph from 20 to 100, this is concave up. So this cannot be resembled the correct graph. Now part three says use separation of variables to find y equal b of t, the particular solution with initial condition of b of zero equal 20. So let's take a look at c. Okay, so we're going to start with our derivative, and we're going to get dt. You're going to multiply by dt, then you're going to divide by 100, 100 minus b. So once you divide, then you're going to integrate. 
and I'm going to do U substitution. So I'm going to put negative out here, 150 plus C. So I get negative natural logarithm of 100 minus B, and I get 150 plus C. I'm going to go on and substitute in to get my C. So my C is going to be negative ln of 80. Now this was on a non-calculator part, so you can leave it like that. So now I'm going to go back and substitute in for my C, divide by the negative, take the E of both sides, this will pop out, this will be this times E of ln of 80. Well, E and ln cancel out, so the 80 goes in front. Then I'm going to subtract the 100 over and divide by negative. So this would be your particular solution.